Happy Magic Monday. It's Magic Monday. Hello, hello, practical magic. Say hello when you're tuned in. Um, I'm hoping I'm live. It says live is starting. I'm now live. Happy Magic Monday, everyone. So happy to be back just a few days before the holiday. And I am in my orange chair against my orange wall. <laughs> I am um, in a new space today just while my lovely son Brandon is in town for the holiday. So wonderful to have him here. Um, but jump when you jump in, let me know you're here. Where are you tuning in from? And let me know you're here. I wanted to jump in and, you know, this is all about practical magic and how to create um, routines that accentuate the magic in your life. We are, we are constantly given an opportunity to make the mundane magic. That is our gift of free will, free choice. Say hello when you, tu when you tune in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. It's so good to have you here. Just write in the comments. I'd love to know who's here joining us. But we want to, we get to make the mundane magic. We are here in the 3D because we chose to be here and we are here in the most magical time ever. We can increase our vibration so much easier and much faster. We are seeing through the veils of illusion and, um, but illusion like we it's literally so much easier to be in the world but not of it now so i wanted to share with you a couple of little things that i do regularly to shift the energy and if you're watching this if you're a part of the pat practical magic family then you're definitely probably an empath you're definitely probably um you're most likely an empath and you feel the energies around you. And sometimes you may feel like they're your emotions. You're not sure why your emotions are um, constantly changing and change rapidly. It just may be that you're picking up the energy around others. And being an empath doesn't mean you need to um, stay away from certain areas or stay away from big crowds of people. You can choose to go in intentionally and bring your light. That's what you're here to do is bring your light. And sometimes when we do that, we go into spaces either knowingly or unknowingly that have denser energy. I don't like to say negative energy or positive energy. It's all neutral energy. Um, some of it is dense, is more dense. Some of it is a higher frequency and you can definitely feel all of that. And we want a nice balance in that. You know, it's important to be grounding and staying connected to Mother Gaia throughout because that's what we're here to do is bring those high frequencies into the 3D to um, create change, to help everyone awaken, to for ourselves to awaken and ascend. So good morning, Barb. So good to have you here. So one of the, um, a quick way you can do that is if you end up in some dense energy through conversations you have or people that you're around, this can happen sometimes when we get together with um, family that you may not be around. That can be a high stress time as families coming together, those old um, dynamics get kicked into gear even when you don't even expect it and you can shake it off. One of the things I do is just totally shake off the energies, let it go, right? Because energy does land on us. So you can shake it off, you can holler it out, whoa, 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 whoa. let it go. Ha, ha, ha. And I know it seems so weird, but all of this, you know, your body is um, like your car. It is your, it's your soul's temple. And just like a car driving through, driving through the dirt picks up dust, picks up mud. Um, our bodies do the same. We are energetic beings. Good morning, Diana. So glad to have you here. Um, I absolutely love Magic Mondays. 
we pick up that stuff and you can literally shake it out with the intention. You can wipe it off, get your legs out, get up, dance around and release it, shake it off. That can be something you can do anywhere. You can run into the bathroom and just kind of shake it off, stomp it out, move it around. And then if you can go to your car, then you can, ah, so you can, you can holler, you can, ah, you know, get that. You want to, you want to activate your throat chakra. So many times we have experiences and we hold back. We, it, we may find that it's just better not to say something sometimes because there's no, no good will come of it. You can simply, you know, activate that as you're shaking out and go, ah, if you're watching this now, do it. Some good times to do this, you know, um, as light workers, we are working all night long. We are working in the ethers. We are, if you're a dream master, you're working with other people's dreams. If you're, you know, a light worker, you're processing, maybe you work with the grid points on the earth, whatever you're doing, we're, we're doing lots of work in the ethers, whether you remember it or not. And you may wake up like, oh, tired. You may wake up not looking forward to your day. Um, whatever it is, you first thing in the morning, you can shake it out, just shake it out. You know, being a spiritual student for, for several decades now, I used to think that I should just wake up happy. And if I wasn't waking up happy, then there was something I needed to fix or or whatever, you know, it was wrong. I had a judgment around waking up, maybe feeling a little dense with, with denser emotions. And that's when I realized the truth is we are releasing a lot. We're healing within ourselves. We're healing for others. We're doing lots of work around the planet to support the ascension of the planet and humanity and, and earth and, um, so getting up in the morning and just shaking it out, getting a fresh start. And it, you can um, literally say, I am not this mind. I am not this body. I am a spiritual being having a physical experience and this moment is new. So it's, it's triggering that, right? It's reminding yourself that I am not what I appear to be. I am a celestial being. I'm a multidimensional being. And what is open for us now is all of the healing, all of the upgrading and activation that we're doing um, within our DNA is, is spreading throughout all of our parallel lives. So it's important to understand that what you are shifting here and now in this moment you are shifting all aspects of yourself, whoever you have been and whoever you will be. If you're looking at time linearly, which it is not, time is not linear. It is a spiral. So as you are upgrading and shifting and shaking those energies off and, and remaining committed to holding a high frequency, that's the most important is to remain committed to holding that high frequency. Okay. So it's like knowing that yes, throughout your day, you're going to be exposed to low density, um, um, messages, low density, people, low density places, all of that. You're going to be exposed to that. And if you hold your commitment to, I am a portal of divine love, divine light, divine truth. I am a portal. I literally see myself as a portal of light. Like if you could, for those of you who are psychic mediums, I imagine what it, if you can see beyond my physicality, you literally see me as a doorway to the light. See yourself that way. Okay. Affirm. I am a portal to divine love, light, and truth and shake off anything that feels less than you know what is possible and harmony is possible. So making that commitment and shaking it off and using your voice, using your voice. One of the most important things I learned 
to do not too long ago is to make noise, right? I tone through my chakras and it sounds ugly. It's not meant to sound nice. It's meant to get the cobwebs out of your chakras, get the cobwebs out of your um, throat chakra and express, express, express. Even um, how I speak when I'm having conversations just in, in person with people, how I am speaking has shifted. It's a much more um, authoritative experience. I am coming from a space of love and my divinity. So by shaking off those energies and activating your your throat chakra by making the noise, I, I don't go to your car, roll up the windows, you know, and just like, ah, let it all out. I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's about tuning your vehicle, tuning your vehicle and the more, the clearer you are, when you shake it out, you're shaking it out physically, you're shaking it out, you're shaking those energies out at a very subtle level. And you're, ha, uh, you're moving them out with noise and sound. And that enables you to hold a higher frequency, enables you to receive higher frequencies of light and information. You understand that? So when you commit, committing uh, brings you to a higher vibration oh thank you diana you're so sweet you're so sweet holding that commitment just in that helps you hold a higher frequency and knowing remembering in every moment bringing your back yourself back um to how am i feeling in this moment and if you're not feeling harmonious and joyful if you're not feeling as good as you want to feel do the thing shake it off tap it out right tap it out do the thing drink some bless some water and bless it as clearing water that it's washing through the dense energies that you're just exposed to and that you feel are within you have attached to you whatever it is drink it up and let it flush through right you're making the mundane magic your word your word is your wand just as florence scovel has said her her book your word your word is your wand um and she has all the affirmations in it know that as you what you declare you are creating what you declare you are encoding the field around you so when you say i am committed to my highest frequency the highest frequency of harmony the highest frequency of joy the highest frequency of love unconditional love and you just shake out the rest and you let it all go um another um, way i see it is i may see like the violet flame moving through me spiraling out and um, just releasing, transmuting, alchemizing the denser energies into the highest, clearest frequencies of, um, of divine love, unconditional love, harmony, peace, joy, all light, truth, all of that. You declare it, you say it, and it is done. And so it is. So that is our Magic Monday this week. Apply this. Go shake it out now. Whatever energies, maybe they're not um, the highest frequency energies, go shake it out. Go sing it out. Go clear your vessel. Clear your vessel so that you may be a consistent, constant portal of light for yourself and others. And happy holiday. We have Thanksgiving coming up. And I'm coding out into the field that this is a day of gathering and true harmony, true harmony and oneness, unity, um, deep gratitude and appreciation. So as you gather and you celebrate and in whatever way you may celebrate, let's recode, increase the frequency of this holiday to one of collaboration, community, truth with a capital T, oneness with all of humanity, and appreciation, true appreciation. So the, this year I invite you to share 
with all of those you come in contact with um, this week, your appreciation for them. So, all right, everyone, have a great week. I will see you next Magic Monday. Have an amazing day. Shake it off, sing it out, and encode into the field exactly what you desire. All right, everyone, bye for now.